Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is God will fight your battles. Okay, you don't need to fight against those who are coming against you. God will do it. Okay, God is the most high God. He created everything. He created everything in this physical realm. Everything material that we see, the earth, the trees, the sky, people, animals, things that are man-made are made from materials that God has created. He is the creator of all things. When you have the Most High God on your side, there isn't anyone that can come against you. They will try. They will absolutely try. But leave it to God. Don't seek revenge for yourself because that is of the world. And I used to be like that. Okay, I used to try to get my own justice, but the best justice comes from God. Okay, and it, it, sometimes it happens within seconds. When you leave it up to God, He will recompense you in seconds, sometimes minutes, sometimes hours, sometimes days, months, sometimes it takes even years. But stay patient and wait for God because He will do it. And the way God fights for you it's better than anything you could ever even come up with. And imagine the peace that, that comes with that. The peace that you can leave it up to the highest power to fight for you. There's so much peace. You can just give it to him. And you don't have to sit in like revenge or like that kind of thinking, you know, that brings you farther away from God. Like vindictiveness. That brings you farther from God. Okay, we don't want to... So give it to him and he will fight for you. Let's look at examples from the Bible. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den unjustly. Okay, and God shut the mouths of the lions. And what happens after that? The people who threw Daniel into the lion's den, they themselves got thrown into the lion's den and devoured because God wasn't with them. Okay, and that's exactly what he will do for you. Let's look at the story of Esther. Look at um, Haman. Okay, he was trying to hang Mordecai, right? He built a he built a gallows to hang Mordecai, and he wanted to take out all the Jewish people. And what happens after that? Haman gets hung on the same gallows that he built for Mordecai. It says it in the Bible. It's in the scripture that they will fall into the pit that they dig for you. Okay, so leave it up to God. Let their own wickedness come back upon them because that's what will happen. The thing is, whatever we, re and that's another biblical principle, is we reap what we sow. If you reap good things, you have good things coming back to you. Blessings, goodness. Okay, if you reap evil, what do you think is going to come back upon you? Okay, so stand on, on these biblical principles. Like, remember the stories in the Bible. Okay, think of Joseph. Joseph went through a lot of injustice for a very long time. But look what happened at the end of it all. He became second in charge of all of Egypt. Okay, he was he was put in a high position in front of his enemies, his brothers who threw him into the pit and who sold him as a slave and initially wanted to kill him, his own brothers. Okay, they had to come to him for food because of the famine in the land. They had to grovel and kneel before him just as he's seen in his dream so god will do that he will bless you immensely and if you look at it it's like the size of the the injustice against you is the size of your blessing okay people came against joseph for all those years you know potiphar's wife put him into prison unjustly by lying and saying that he tried to get with her when she was just like a woman of wrath, you know, and put him in prison. But the size of your injustices equals the size of your blessings. Okay, so the more injustices you have coming against you, the bigger your blessing in. Your bigger your blessing is. Okay, it's a sign. It's a good sign. It's an indicator of how big your blessings are. So hang in there. Pray to God. Pray to God. Put Psalms on. If you're going through something, put Psalms on 24 hours. Because David had a heart for God. Key word. Heart or words. Heart for God. And because David had a heart for God, God fought all of his battles. And he never lost a battle.
That's why Psalms gets God's attention to fight for you. People are coming against you, doing evil, wicked things. Put on Psalms. Put Psalms on. 24 hours if you have to. Read Psalms. Okay, remind God that he's the Lord of hosts. He's the Lord of hosts of heaven's armies. And heaven's armies are huge. And they way surpass the, the armies of darkness. Okay, and remind him of who he is and who you are, that you're his child and that your father will fight for you. And just ask him to do that. Say, God, you're the Lord of hosts. Please fight for me. Pray, put it in your prayers. Okay, and let him do it. Leave it to God. Don't try to do it in your own strength because God can do it so much better and he will. Okay, I've seen it. There's been so, like, I was like, God, how can you fight against all of these people? And he did and he does and he'll do it for you. Okay, he will do it for you because if you're God's child, you know, these, the wickedness in the world is coming against you. But remember, Jesus has already overcome the world. Read that scripture. Okay, he has already overcome the wickedness of this world. So they are already defeated. You're victorious in Jesus Christ. That's why I dedicated this whole channel to glorify him. Because he is that big of a deal. Okay, glorify Jesus. Remember, he's victorious. And that as a believer, we can stand in his victory. Okay, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit love you. The bunnies and I love you too. See you in the next video.